going on everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to take you through my worst fitness mistakes I made in my fitness journey and the things that I wish I knew before I even started my fitness journey that would have helped me get even better results. Now, this video is super important to me because it's a bunch of things that like newbies for the gym would need to know in order to start and get into the gym properly. And even for me, like I wish that I knew the things that I do now at the beginning, but you live, you learn, you experiment, and then you kind of gain success from that. Before I get into the fitness mistakes that I made through my fitness journey, I'm gonna take you through a complete upper body workout, but first it's time to take Saint for a walk. If you're new to the channel, I have a dog named Saint. He is the cutest thing ever and I'm obsessed with him. So we're gonna take him for a walk and then we're gonna come back, make my special pre-workout drink and then head to the gym for a killer upper body workout. Saint, do you wanna go for a walk? <gasps> You ready? Time to make some pre-workout. Okay, that did not work out properly. Okay, so I have vitamin B12 just in a liquid form. Um, this is natural energy and also helps with um, digesting protein. And then I'm gonna use amino cuts. This is really good. I found that it's super natural and gives me the boost of energy I need without giving me like jitters or anything like that. And it's all natural as well. It's like a uh, green coffee and only five calories, sugar-free, and it does not break my fast. Another one. And you guys know the best way to make the best pre-workout ever. Ah! Done. I'm gonna drink this and then head to the gym. Started this workout off with a warm up on the exercise bike. I love warming up my body every single time I work out. From there, I started with a bent over barbell underhand row. And my goal here was just to squeeze into my shoulder blades and my back as much as possible and take it really controlled. From there, I moved into a neutral grip chin up. And here, I'm just focusing on control as much as possible, squeezing those shoulder blades together and kind of focusing on that W shape at the top with my arms. From there, I moved into a lat pull down wide grip and then I did an extra pulse. And this movement has been so fun for me. It's like taking lat pull downs to the next level by adding that pulse and I feel this so much. I try to build my lats up as much as possible because that gives the illusion of a smaller waist. From there, I moved into a single arm dumbbell row, just taking this movement as slow and controlled as possible. I probably could have gone up in weight here, but just looking at that motion there is perfect. From there, I went into an inclined dumbbell chest press, and here I'm just focusing on squeezing my pecs together as I come up and kind of focusing on that squeeze at the top and then full stretch um, through my pecs. From there, I moved on to push-ups and supersetting those two back to back is absolutely killer, ouch. From there, I moved on to my final two exercises. One, just doing max rows with the TRX, and these are just body rows, and then I finished off with mountain climbers and I super said those back to back and this was enough to kind of finish me off for the day. So that was my upper body workout of the day. I hope you all enjoyed that upper body workout. If you do, give it a try. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Tag me in a picture or a video if you do record yourself trying it and give this video a thumbs up if you did like that workout. Now for the main topic of this entire video, which is my worst fitness mistakes that I have made and what I wish I knew when I started my fitness journey. So number one is you don't have to go through extremes. So what this basically means is when I first started my fitness journey, I was an extremist in the gym. I was obsessed with staying on the treadmill for literally hours of my life. I was obsessed with HIIT training and would do that for literally an hour on top of the cardio that I had already done. And I would literally obsess over yoga. So I would do like two hot, freaking yoga classes a day, which would leave me unable to have the energy for the rest of my actual life. So you don't have to like go to that extreme point. Start with moderation, build this lifestyle for yourself. Like for, 
For me, for example, I restricted myself so badly to do with my calories. Like I was eating in such a harmful caloric deficit that I was literally becoming anorexic because I could, like I wasn't feeding my body proper nutrition and I didn't really understand that. I thought in order to be successful and in order to reach my goals, I had to freaking kill it and I had to literally restrict every single part of my life in order to reach that end goal, which isn't true. I wish I could shake that girl five, six years ago who was like, extreme everything, extreme everything, and be like, wake the frick up. You do not have to do this. It's not good for you whatsoever. Oh, it's so frustrating. I just want to commu communicate to you guys so that you know if you are just starting out on your fitness journey, you don't have to start with extremes. Number two is having no workout plan. So having a workout plan is basically like a roadmap that's going to guide you all along the way to success. It's going to bring you to that road to success. If you are not following a workout plan or a game plan or something like that, then you are not going to be as successful as that person that is because you need to understand what you need to do in the gym, outside of the gym, nutrition and workouts in order to be successful. Like you can't just like, it's not a guessing game. You can't literally guess your way into the gym. You can't guess which workouts are gonna be the best for you because you might not be educated on that. Yes, it's a good place to start in like, introducing yourself into the gym by following maybe some YouTube videos and Instagram videos. But if you are serious and you want, you want to make that change and then that transformation in your life, then it's time to get serious and get on a freaking workout plan. Sorry. Sorry, I have to say it. I'm not trying to be rude or anything like that for those who are still following YouTube videos and um, Instagram videos. That's great. You can definitely do that for a bit. But if you actually want to get serious and cater your training specific to you and your body, then you need to kind of consult someone in order to find a workout plan that works best for you. That's what I do with my girls. I make sure that they are on the right track so that their training is customized to them so that they can be successful. Number three is doing too much exercise. So once again, this was me. I had an obsession with the gym. I would literally be there for three hours on end with an additional two hours at a yoga studio. And that is not healthy whatsoever. Like literally, if I had me, old me, in front of me right now, wow, that's a lot of me's. I would literally shake her and be like, don't be stupid. You need to rest your body. Too much exercise is going to hurt you, not help you. Your body needs to rest and recover so that when you go back to the gym and work out again, you can hit that workout even harder than you thought was possible before because your body is at prime state to hit it once again. Wow, I went off, sorry. <laughs> but don't overkill yourself. It's not about like how much you can do in three hours. It's like, do the proper workouts that are targeted to your body and what you want to achieve, and you will see results. It may not happen overnight, but if you are consistently doing what you need to do in order to succeed, you are going to succeed. Number four, not working out correctly. So this was literally me when I first started. I had no idea about form or tempo, time under tension, etc. So like form is key. If you are not in the proper positioning for an exercise, you are not recruiting the proper muscles. If you are not taking that tempo slow and controlled, your muscles are not under time under tension, and that is not going to promote muscle growth or fat loss. It's just going to be you moving in and out of a position really quickly. And that's not good for anything, okay? That's gonna hurt you in the long run, that's gonna lead to injury, and that's gonna lead to exhaustion as well. So really understanding how to properly align yourself in your exercises is one of the most important things that I can stress. So if you are not comfortable in like certain exercises, ask for help. There are always people around that can help you in the gym or consult a coach, a personal trainer, etc. Like people can help you. Just, all you have to do is ask. And once you ask and once you actually understand the exercise, then it just gets better from there. You can progress even quicker once you are in the proper positioning. Number five, overemphasis on cardio machines over weighted exercises. So this was a huge thing for me when I started in the gym. I was so afraid of touching the weights because I didn't want to become bulky, but that was a big mistake. As soon as I started lifting heavy and started really understanding the movements and loading them up with a ton of weight is when I started seeing the most changes. When I was doing cardio, I was just like that skinny fat type of look. Not a lot of muscle definition, just skinny. 
and I looked somewhat anorexic because that's what I was doing to my body. But as soon as I started nourishing my body pro properly and lifting heavy is when I saw the most changes in my body. Once I started seeing the changes, I was like, oh shit, this actually works. Okay, let's keep going with this. So ladies, I'm going to tell you right now, please pick up those heavy ass weights and lift them. Lift them heavy. Lift heavy. I can't stress it enough. It's going to benefit you so much more than just running on the treadmill for four freaking hours or walking up the stairmaster for an hour. Like, no, girl, I got you. Go pick up some heavy ass weights and be a freaking boss. Now those were my five worst fitness mistakes that I did at the beginning of my fitness journey and that I wish I knew before I even started so that I would have already been so much more successful in a quicker amount of time. But you live and you learn. Those are the experiences that taught me and like have shown me in order to kind of get where I am now and where I'm comfortable with now. So. If you are listening to this and you are just beginning, I really hope those help you as well so that you can start off strong. Now, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. I hope that those tips helped and I hope that you are so successful in your fitness journey and your fitness transformation that like you succeed, just in general, succeed girl. And if you guys enjoyed the, this video and you enjoyed the workout before, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below if you guys have any kind of struggles that you went through or mistakes that you went through that you want to share with others as well. And don't forget to subscribe because tomorrow's video is all about making the time for what is important and making your fitness a priority. So I'm going to kind of explain what the difference is between like you not having time and you making time in order to be successful successful in the gym. This video is going to be super important because this is what has kind of helped me succeed in my fitness journey. It's helped me prioritize fitness over going out with friends every single night or drinking to an absurd amount or eating shitty foods. Like this is what has kind of helped steer me in the proper direction so that I can be as successful as possible in my fitness journey. Now, like I said, I'm gonna wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you, I love you, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.